software or your slicing software, there is something called enable retraction. So I've always known this is a good setting to use to prevent stringing and make sure that the interfaces between different color prints, if you're using a dual extruder, is clear and crisp. So I normally enable that, but then we get a bunch of extra settings that we are able to modify. So I'm always wondered, retraction distance, what is the best distance to choose? You would think the farther it retracts, maybe the longer this takes, or maybe more issues can occur, I don't know. But if you don't have it enough, obviously you might as well not have it at all. So I want to investigate, let's take retraction off, print this, and then do the same thing for retraction enabled at one millimeter. And then we'll do two millimeters, three millimeters, and maybe four millimeters. And what I'm seeing right here is for the small print that, look, it's only half a cm by 8 cm by half a cm so it's a small object but this makes no difference in the time whether there's retraction no retraction or up to four millimeters of retraction so i'm going to print these take a look at what the differences is and maybe we could see is there an optimum retraction distance So now I've printed all of these pieces, and let's take a look at them one by one here quickly. So this is retraction enabled with four millimeter retraction distance, and I see a little bit of stringing right there. There's a guy right here. Very easy to rip those off. Other than that, the print is very clean. We see nice sharp changes and differences between the interface here of the different colors and then even on the back we see no cross contamination between colors overall i'd say a pretty clean print i'm happy with this easy cleanup and looks good now we move to the three millimeter retraction distance we have a little bit of stringing here but honestly uh, that that's it we've got a little guy right here little blob that we could easily rip that off but again between the two colors it's very clear easy to see looks nice and sharp the back we don't see any contamination looks good so three millimeter i, I would argue actually looks even better than the four millimeter but enough that that could just be chance right there's a lot of variables at play here now we go to the two millimeter retraction distance and overall this also looks good. We see this little blob again, just like the three millimeter had. So it looks like the four millimeter eliminates that little blob. Here we also have this red piece. That I obviously has to be while the nozzle is moving. I'm a little confused why this is the only one with that, but it is what it is. There's a little bit of barely any stringing. And still, I think that the colors have no cross-contamination and still look really good. You see no contamination on the back here either. Overall, pretty clean print uh, with the, the exception of that little red piece. Also, very little stringing, right? That's where we start to come to the one millimeter retraction distance. Well, take a look here. We have a lot of stringing on the printing bed. We see this on the side. We have that little blob that the other, the last two have had too. And then again, easy to rip these off, but obviously a lot more stringing. We he, see on the actual print, there's some stringing right there, a little bit right here. And these are a little harder to pull off. There's some here on the back. And so... Again, you can do it. It's a little harder because they're tiny little things. You'd probably got to use your pliers. But still, the interface between the two colors looks good. I don't see any cross-contamination on the front. I really don't see any on the back either. So overall, definitely usable, but a little more post-processing work than before. And so now we look at uh, the no-stringing. And so... 
or no retraction distance, sorry. So I, I disabled retraction altogether for this print. You see uh, still quite a bit of stringing right here, similar to, I guess, maybe the one millimeter. But here's where we start seeing uh, some other issues. We have an interface issue right here where... I don't know if you want to call that cross-contamination, what it may be, but there's certainly a problem there. Again, you could probably clean that up. It wouldn't be a huge deal. Overall, that uh, looks okay. Here on the back, we see something going on right there. Not exactly sure what that is, but not good. And then it may be very difficult to see. I think you can see it on the camera here. I, I could have maybe chosen a better color now that I think about it. I don't like this filament, so I just wanted to get rid of it. But you see some cross-contamination contam here. There's a line where the nozzle printed this outer layer, moved in to print this inner layer, and you see that cross-contamination. You see that original color on top of the red there. So that's what we don't want. So that's not good. So to me, there's a clear difference between the two non-retraction distance and four millimeter, three millimeter. I think the prints are better with the retraction, less stringing, better quality, no cross-contamination. Now, I would argue you wouldn't want to use a one millimeter retraction distance. A two millimeter, I think, is all right. You still have that little blob there. Uh, other than that, the print looks pretty good. The three looks good as well. If you want to avoid as little print errors as possible, I think four millimeter is the way to go. It eliminated that blob. We have these couple little strings, but easy to cut those off. And we have no other defects on the print whatsoever. So four to be the safest. But honestly, I think you could probably get away with a three or a two. The timing doesn't make any difference. It was 40 or 31 minutes to print all of these, regardless of whether I used retraction and regardless of the retraction distance. So hopefully this was a good synopsis for you. If you have any other questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.